hello hello everyone welcome back again to my channel this is a diy project i bought this generator it's a power generator for about uh, 70 dollars that's about kenya shilling 7000 and it was in really bad shape so i decided to do a small project to restore it as you can see it looks pretty worn out the paint has faded in some areas especially on the frame it doesn't look good it's a, an ex uk you can see some nuts and bolts are missing that hold uh, the generator and the fuel tank to the frame also you can see the gauge the fuel gauge is missing uh, that is the panel which doesn't look so bad and also underneath some screws or nuts and bolts are loose it also doesn't have a good stand so i'm gonna work on it give it a fresh coat of paint replace the oil because the oil that is in the generator looks pretty uh, worn out so i'm going to put in uh, a new can of oil so now let's get to work and uh, dismantle this uh, little thing watch till the end as we start it and test it to see whether it will power up thank you Such a new generator would cost around 150 to 250 US dollars. That's about 15,000 to 25,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, but this one, uh, it's pretty uh, in good shape. XUK, not badly used. At 70 dollars and uh, restoring it, it's going to give some good service. There isn't much power outage nowadays in Nairobi, Kenya. But sometimes you find when the power goes off or when the power goes out is when you're doing something important or probably at night. So in Africa, we do not have stable power supply, uh, mainly because of the infrastructure and the uh, weather and the environment and many factors that uh, cause power outages. So once in a week, you'll find that uh, you have one or two power outages but uh, another thing is that it has really improved because they don't last for long you'll get a power outage for about uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes and then the power will come back sometimes when the kenya power is doing maintenance of the power company they'll put a notice on the uh, social media and the dailies the local dailies to alert users of certain areas that will be affected by maintenance works and sometimes the power goes off uh, early in the morning till late in the evening and that is when such a, a component or uh, such an instrument comes into very good use yeah so i've dismantled it from the frame taken it out of the frame as you can see i've straightened uh, the areas that uh, we're not straight that is the fuel tank and also the fuel gauge is missing but uh, we shall cover that with a rubber until i get uh, a fuel gauge which uh, from aliexpress you can import it's just uh, two dollars or three dollars uh, it takes about uh, one month to one and a half months for the item to arrive because they're shipped from china so I'm now uh, sanding uh, to smoothen the frame and also remove, uh, as you can see, it's rusted. So the, there was a lot of rust on this uh, frame. So I've removed the dust and this is in preparation to give it a fresh coat of paint.
that is the engine part also had some uh, rust on the exhaust cover just sanding it out that is the alternator cover wasn't too bad but the paint had faded and that is the power panel power control panel uh, also some parts had uh, rust just uh, sanding it off uh, in preparation for a coat of paint now wiping off the debris and the dust uh, so that uh, we can now paint Starting with the frame, I'm applying uh, black automotive paint which uh, lasts longer and is not affected by the petrol uh, or gasoline. In case you spill gasoline on it, uh, it will just be okay. Automotive paint is very good uh, where gasoline, where it may come uh, into contact with gasoline or petrol or any type of fuel. This is just a simple DIY project, so there's no need of using a spray and so on. Spraying machine, which will increase the cost. Uh, this is good enough. It will make it look as good as the new one. That is the frame all painted and that is the generator itself cleaned as well and we're getting ready to assemble it back together that is the fuel tank also has a fresh uh, coat of paint and now let's put uh, everything uh, back together reassemble the generator and start it and see if it's gonna work because when I picked it from the supplier who is an ex UK importer we just uh, started it once uh, tested with uh, uh, some 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 electrical equipment and it all worked good so let's see even though the voltage was quite high but that one uh, we're going to adjust and regulate uh, using the the normal adjustment adjustment for power generators that uh, do not come with an AVR that is automatic uh, voltage regulator so this one doesn't have an AVR uh, we'll just have to regulate it using the uh, uh, carburetor using sorry using the engine rpms so the lower the engine rpms the lower the voltage the higher the engine uh, rpms the higher the voltage uh, fitting the control panel now after fastening the engine to the frame so we're now fastening the control panel uh, looking uh, really nice you know so i did this uh, in two days uh, and my two days were well spent it kept me busy actually the black paint and the yellow paint both cost one dollar just one dollar and the paintbrush is about half a dollar as you can see the other item that I used is WD-40 uh, that is to remove crease in some areas of the engine where uh, it had not been cleaned for a long time
So fastening the fuel tank or the gasoline tank are looking good. Wow, that's how it looks. Yeah, looking really, really good. You can't compare with the what it was before. So you're not going to put uh, oil. Yeah, putting oil into the engine. That costs about two and a half dollars in Nairobi, Kenya. So returning the oil cover cup. So now uh, add gasoline and test the generator. Going to add the gasoline and test the generator. Currently, gasoline or petrol is quite expensive in Kenya. It's about $1.27. Where else in some other countries, it's below $1. But in Kenya, uh, things are quite expensive. So that's about 3 liters. So that would be around uh, $3.8 in Nairobi, Kenya. This is a Wolf Power 1200 watts generator. We're testing it. Uh, wow, it's come on really nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Generator is really uh, working very nicely and looking really good. So let's uh, hook up some power component. Yeah. And as you can see, it's producing power. It looks good. So whenever there is a power blackout, I'm quite sorted. Thank you for watching and watch my channel for other do-it-yourself uh, videos. Asante sana.